Hello everyone. Well, wait. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. And if you're new, please subscribe. And today we are going to review the new Savior Precious from the B191 Overdrive set, which has a very big box. I'm not gonna show the box anymore. This is quite a late unboxing. Well, it's not really an unboxing anymore. Uh, I do get the Beyblades late. Uh, I'm not a seller and I don't have access to early releases so yeah my unboxings are always late but to make up for it I try to review the Beyblades as detailed as possible so we are going to start with Savior Purchase and the new DB Launcher so let's begin so this Beyblade comes with three parts that are old and two parts that are new let's start with the old parts the Savior Blade, you've seen this before with Savior Valkyrie, has rubber, and I really like the white and gold. If you know me, my favorite Beyblades are colored white. So yeah, this is going to be part of the collection. I'm probably not going to be using this in battle since I do have two Savior Valkyries here that we can use. Next is Giga, the second heaviest DB disc, not including the uh, Nexus and S-Gear combination. When we're talking about just the metal part, this is the second heaviest. Really good. And my favorite, uh, one of my favorite armors, three. Really good for Beyblades that have three contact points. Now let's go and proceed to these two parts right here. The purchase chip is the heaviest DB disc. It has metal underneath, as you can see here. There are rivets and they are placed more on the this part right here and not really in on the center piece so they have more outward weight distribution this is better used on attack combos so yeah really good part it's a good thing that they released it this early and yeah back then the only way to get it is to win the rare big get battle or win it from auctions and buy it really at a high price so really good part right here and now let's take a look at bearing half dash i'm calling it half dash because it's not entirely dash it basically gets a spring that is stronger than its usual spring there you can compare it by feeling how much resistance it has now in case you can't feel the difference there is also another way to test it and it's like this you put it in a combo and then we're going to unlock it and see how far it shoots out. Let's go. There, as you can see, that one was pretty strong. Now let's try the regular uh, bearing. Actually, I think the red bearing has the best spring out of all the old bearing drivers. So let's try. Okay, so I think this one... Uh, came out stronger compared to this but again out of all the other bearings I think this one was the best but now this one is so is this going to mean that bearing is going to be used again in tournaments we do not know it's still up for testing probably me I don't use bearing that much really but I do use it for testing my other combos so I make combos and then I battle it with a combo that has bearing but if it was me joining a tournament I'm not using I'm not gonna use bearing so overall i'd say this is a pretty good random combo yes this is just a random combo it is not an official character combo so basically the character may just slapped on random parts for this but yeah you get two really good parts no actually i would have to say all parts are good it's just that these two are really new are new and yeah the other parts are also great so that's it for the beyblade now let's proceed to the launcher and we have here the new DB launcher and while we review this we're going to have the Savior Valkyries power launcher as well so there are only two major difference except the colors all right not including the colors that's too obvious so one is the string of this is actually longer about two to three centimeters longer than this and the spin gear actually has metal bearing there you go 
has metal bearing there, as you can see. I don't know if you can, you should put oil on this to make it perform better, but yeah, it has metal bearing. Now, based on performance, because I've already tested this, and this is what I did. So I used this combo for testing. What I did was, I launched this Beyblade with these two launchers and clocked the spin. Both of them um, averaged from 2 minutes 40 seconds to 2 minutes 50 seconds. But most of the time, they actually just finished at the same time, which is crazy. That means that even though this has longer spring and has bearing, it is the power gear that dictates the, you know, the power of the spin, the launch. So yeah, since both of them have power gear, this is a power gear, this is a power gear. So that's why I get, I got the similar results. You can also test this yourself if you do not believe me, but yeah. Both of them do have the same power gear, just different colors. So that's probably the reason why the results were similar. You cannot really tell the, perf the difference based on the performance, even though this has longer string and this has metal bearing. But you can feel it when you pull it. Not much, not much of a difference. You just can feel that this is kind of heavier when you pull it and by holding it. But basically that's it. In terms of performance, not much of a difference. Now, what are the two things that I don't like about this? Okay, so number one is this gap right here. I don't know why there's a hole there. What's the purpose? Are you supposed to attach something here in the future? But they could have just closed that up. And yeah, that's the number one thing. That doesn't look good. Second is, if you can see, this sits lower compared to this. This has a thicker uh, part right here compared to this one. Which means that in tournaments you're going to you might have a problem because remember in tournaments both of your Beyblades should touch the stadium at the same time. If your launcher has a lower um, connector Beyblade connector, that means there's a chance that your Beyblade would hit the stadium first, and that's a foul. You might get a penalty, right? So don't worry, um, it can be easily resolved. All you need to do is either elevate your hand from your usual launching stance so you can just raise your hand and make sure that your Beyblade is aligned with the opponent's Beyblade or you can practice your timing and not launch at the same time so do you, do you get my point this is going to be a problem in tournaments but if you practice then it's not going to be a problem and that's it for these two new products uh, they're really cool I like them I'm not really a fan of gold but it's a cool addition to the launcher collection so that's it for this video stay tuned for the review of the other two beyblades prominence phoenix and dangerous belly so bye